Welcome to this episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm your host, Dale Shields. On this episode, we're gonna take you to Bartlesville, Oklahoma, to the Hughes Family Working Cattle Ranch. Our riders enjoyed a wonderful time there this weekend with a lot of fun activities, including an egg toss contest, a cornhole challenge, a horseback challenge course. We had campfires with music. On Saturday, a wonderful evening banquet. The trail riding was second to none as we were able to ride through pastures with wild mustangs. The weather was perfect. What a fun time we had. We invite you to sit back and enjoy Best of America by Horseback with us. On this week's show, we're at the Hughes Family Ranch near Bartlesville, Oklahoma. It was here that the story began in 1938, as told by John Hughes in the book, The Home Ranch. When his father walked into a bank and made a deal for 1,440 acres of rough cross timberland. The bank had held this piece of land from 1930 to 1937 through the Depression years with an accumulation of back taxes. When the taxes were paid, the land was purchased for $5.35 per acre. John recounted in the book that the banker told his father, Arthur, I don't for the life of me know why you'd want that rock pile. That 1,440 acres has now grown to a 12,000 acre working cattle ranch, which is also home to more than 3,000 beautiful Mustangs. We're proud that our rides always begin with the presentation of our flag and a prayer. We were honored to have husband and wife team, James and Claire Green, both retired Marines represent our flag ceremony. We've had a terrific weekend at the Hughes Ranch near Bartlesville, Oklahoma, and it's uh, such a pleasure to have Robert Hughes uh, with us here. And uh, Robert, thank you for letting us have uh, this weekend here on the ranch. This means so very much to us. You bet. Well, it's uh, you got a great bunch here, and I've got a lot of respect for what you all do. And uh, the horse is, a, is a, the most important tool we have on this place. And, and uh, it, it, again, it's a real honor to have you here. You know, it, we go to a lot of places, and uh, Folks that have businesses uh, that do trail riding operations invite us there, and, and that's a, a wonderful pleasure for us. But this is your ranch, this is your home, and so this is kind of a special setting for us, and uh, means means a lot to us, to our people, to come to a setting like this. You and bet. we're we're so appreciative. You bet. You bet. Um, so Robert, you're third generation on this on this ranch. That's right. And um, what does it mean to you to go out about your daily operations? and uh, do the work that has preceded you through your father and your grandfather? Well, it's, uh, I, I get a real kick, and I think you all have noticed that we've, we take pretty good pretty care of a place, and we're we very do. proud of that. And uh, when we have a good year, we, we, I get a thrill out of putting money back into the ranch and improving it. It just, that's what really makes me. It uh, just makes you feel good, or coming up with a new idea, or figuring out how to stop erosion here, or so forth, or maybe some old oil field damage. Uh, uh, we've done a really good job of developing water too. Where if it's if there's a drought, somehow we'll scra scrape up enough money to clean ponds, and it pays off in the long run. Uh, but uh, th th that's how I was taught. You know, my granddad taught my father, my father taught me. So this is more than just a business to you that runs deeper than that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. 
So as you, uh, as you look forward to the future, um, what do you want to leave behind for your children to remember from this ranch? Well, kind of like what my, what my parents did with me, you know. Uh, and I feel like I've raised my kids right. My son, he's the director of operations for Spear Livestock, Sam Hughes. And uh, my daughter's a registered nurse and married. Uh, and they both live in Oklahoma City. But uh, Sam will be back one of these days, hopefully, and, and uh, I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait yeah. to, to, uh, to have that father-son relationship that I have with my father. Don't go away. We have a lot more to show you on this episode of Best of America by Horseback. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to this episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm your host, Dale Shields. We're at the Hughes Ranch near Bartlesville, Oklahoma. This weekend, we've had the opportunity to ride with some old friends that we've ridden with many times. Also met a lot of new friends who have come to ride with us on this event. This is a wonderful place. We're enjoying all the activities here. Sit back and watch with us. While at the Hughes Ranch on Saturday evening, we were afforded the opportunity to be at Trapper John's Juke Joint, where inside there are authentic chuck wagons and Western memorabilia. Saturday evenings are always a special time for the Best of America by horseback riders and staff as we gather to enjoy a banquet meal together. There, we can fellowship, tell stories of the weekend's events, talk about the wonderful places where we've been and where we hope to go on future Best of America by Horseback Adventures. And at this ride, Dale was honored to share live music with the guest with his good friend, cowboy poet and singer, Danny McCurry. So Robert, this is a working operation. This isn't just a, a place to hang out. No. Tell us a little bit about the operation. I think you notice that when you went down to camp, there's always horses saddled and we're, we're, we're busy this time of year. We're in the high risk, uh, we're in the stalker cattle business and uh, we're, uh, we're buying light calves out of uh, the southeast, particularly Florida and southern Mississippi, northern Louisiana. We have two good ore buyers down there. Get a truckload a week. And uh, we also buy some ranch calves uh, from Superior Livestock and a few private treaty, but our goal is to to put pounds, keep the dollars low as we can, and put the pounds as high as we can. Uh, we, we if we we feel like if we can put 500 pounds on a on a four weight calf, uh, and the market doesn't have a big disruption, we we should be able to get our margin if we do our job right, keeping our death loss low and keeping them alive. Uh, they're uh, you know they're the, when I say high risk, they've been jerked off their mother. They've been hauled to the sale. They've been commingled, so you got the bugs all in them, and you just, you know. But we've got shades, misters, uh, good feed, good care, uh, and uh, you really have to handle the kid gloves. And uh, and then you have to live with them for a minimum of 30 days. Rory knows that. Uh, he's a, he's a, he is just a top top guy pulling sick cattle and identifying sick cattle and taking care of them. He's really, really great asset for the ranch. Uh, but uh, we're also have, a, uh, we're diversified a little bit and it's kind of nice. We, we, we've we been on a, on a uh, long-term holding wild horse contract and uh, it's a good use for a resource, which is grass and it also diversifies us, which is great. Uh, kind of smooths out some of those rough years and, and uh, everybody has that's, them. That's, yeah. that's, that's uh, that's, that's kind of what we do, Dale. Well, so many people take for granted where our food comes from, mm -hmm. how uh, cattle are handled and mm -hmm. treated and processed, right. but you guys do it first class here, and uh, well, we, we were able to experience some of that this weekend. Uh, looks like you're doing it right. Well, we like to, and there's, you know, there's a right way and there's a wrong way, and there's only one right way, and the easier are on an animal, and we love animals or we, we, we wouldn't be doing this. And we love horses, we love cattle, we love dogs, uh, but uh, there's a there's a there's an easy way and a hard way, and the, the easiest way on man and the animal is the, is the quiet, uh, you know, uh, the, the proper way. 
Well, we appreciate so much you letting us be a part of that to come in and, yeah. and watch you work and see the cowboys uh, going through the herds on horseback. And as you said, they were going through gently and, uh -huh. and really you looking bet. things over. You bet. And uh, that's that's something that is uh, precious to us. So you bet. thanks for letting us be a part of that. You bet. Well, you guys are welcome back anytime. I mean it. Appreciate it. Thank Class you so much. Act. Don't go away. We have a lot more to show you on this episode of Best of America by Horseback. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're back at the Hughes Family Ranch near Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Our riders are having a fun time here with all the activities, the trail riding. They're enjoying it, and we hope you are too. Patty, what's been the most difficult decision you've made today? I didn't have any difficult decisions to make today. Uh, I think the decision to come here and ride has already been made. We decided to do that last week, and uh, we just have had a wonderful time riding here. It's so pretty here. For our viewers, we're at the Hughes Ranch near Bartlesville, Oklahoma. 13,000 acres of uh, just beautiful creation. Yes. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you've seen and experienced here this weekend. We've had a great time riding here. The thing I've liked, I think, about the Hughes Ranch the most is just the openness of it. It's so big and wide and um, lots and lots of hills, lots of creek crossings, uh, some really beautiful rock formations. You can probably see behind us there's lots of rocks and hills and it's just been a, a fun time looking at all of the scenery, the hills. We got to see some Mustangs. That was pretty fun watching them gallop across. I think someone told me there were probably 100, 150 head in that herd. How many people will never get to see that in their lifetime? Probably most. Probably most people will never get to see that. Probably most people never get to ride out here in a place like this. It's, it's been a, a lot of fun. We've sure had a, a great time here this weekend. Um, I've learned that you have quite a history in dressage riding. Would you talk to us about that a little bit? I've done classical dressage for quite a number of years and more recently western dressage. Um, I just finished up last week at Guthrie at the Lazy E Arena with the Western Dressage World Horse Show, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, I think dressage is a great way to 
develop a good partnership with your horse because it's all about creating that harmony between horse and rider, creating a horse and rider partnership that, um, that works well for both the equine and the human. Absolutely. Is there a crossover? Is there something that um, is in dressage that uh, is a benefit to trail riding once you're out of the, the dressage uh, circle? I think that dressage is good for every horse. I think that it improves every horse. So we do a lot of um, teaching horses to maneuver away from our legs and, um, and be used to instantly respond to the cues that we give them. Um, so I think any of that is good for a trail riding horse or any horse because it just makes them more responsive and um, makes them a better partner for, for their rider. You, you said something this morning that impressed me. Um, maybe you remember the phrase better than I do about the horses, um, how uh, trail riding is good for every horse. Trail riding is good for every horse but not every horse is good for trail riding, and dressage is good for every horse. Yeah, but not every, every horse discipline. is good for, for, for dressage. Yeah, I think, I think trail riding and dressage both make your horses better horses. Ultimately, some horses are better suited to it than others, but I think it makes every horse better. We had uh, uh, various types of terrain that we rode on today, but basically out here, um, everyone got along well. Yeah and uh, it's just a wonderful place to ride. Uh, this is not one of our usual locations we get to come to, but we're so blessed to have this opportunity to bring riders to uh, this location. It was a lot of fun. Well, we're so glad that you came to, to join us. Thank you, and it, so, was, um, it was great. <laughs> thank you for being part of Best of America by Horseback. You are so welcome. Thank you. I rode my gray gelding to the old home corral. Not a cloud could I see in the sky. But when I rode up and the memories rolled in, it was the tears that clouded my eye. I could hear cowboys holler and laugh through the years. The past rolled back like a movie flick between my horse's ears. I saw and smelled the branding fire. There were calves being roped and dragged. There were cowboys telling stories of things they had seen. I just listened as they joked and bragged. I could hear the triangle ringing and smell the scent of old Camp Cookie's beans. I just sat there stuck to my saddle as my memory was flooded with scenes. Scenes of the past that I longed for. Scenes branded deep on my soul. Scenes that had long since escaped of a life that I cannot let go. Then an eagle screeched out high above me. I awakened to reality's curse. The old home corral lay lifeless and dead, like a man rolling long in a hearse. Yes, weeds and grass had grown o'er it. The fences lay rotted and weak. No steer could they hold for a gathering. I stepped from my horse for a peek. The irons lay cold and rusted. Where once the last campfire did burn, it was here that life's lessons were taught me. I thought of the things I had learned. I gathered my pony and senses. It was time that I head back to town. But I rode to the place on the hillside where mother and daddy lie down. I knelt there in silence and prayer. I grieved and I cried like a child. Then brushed off the dust from their headstone and placed flowers from the corral that grew wild. Someday I'll return to this homestead. They will lay me beside those I love. They will bury me here on this lonesome hillside. We'll reminisce of this life from above. Thank you for watching this episode of Best of America by Horseback. We've enjoyed our time at the Hughes Ranch to Barnesville, Oklahoma. We hope that you will follow us on our Facebook page, like us there. You can see past episodes on the YouTube channel and also keep up with our website as we're always adding new rides and events. We'd love to invite you to come and ride with us on Best of America by Horseback. I'm your host, Dale Shields.